Hey guys, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. So in today's video, I have created this stunning glam makeup look that lets the lips do the talking. Like I absolutely love this ombre stunning lip color. Honestly, red lips are so elite, especially if it's like an ombre red lip. Um, and I used all products from Winky Lux in today's video. Well, not all products, I lie. I used a lot of products from Winky Lux. I got a send out from them and I had to try out a lot of their products. And I was like, I am, I'm so obsessed with like everything they sent me. Um, so yeah, I used a lot of their products in today's video. Just a really simple look that anyone can achieve. Like the eyes aren't that complicated, but it just makes you look so pretty. And it's just really glowy and pretty and bronzy. I think it makes me feel so, so good good like I want to do this all the time. This look is great for the holidays or if you just want to feel really glam or sexy looks really pretty this honestly will suit anyone um, and it'll make you stand out and I also chat a little bit about life in today's video as well like a little bit of a chit chat get ready with me kind of video so I hope you guys like this if you do like these kind of videos then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I upload every Monday at 8 a.m. New Zealand time and YouTube shorts every day um, and go and follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well um, because I upload all the time over on there and I'm so active over on there TikTok every day and Instagram stories like every day so go and follow me on there if you guys want to know how to get this stunning makeup look then just keep on watching okay so we're starting with a bare face I know I look crazy I don't have any fake tan on my face right now because I have a skin appointment tomorrow and I can't wear fake tan on my face um, it's like a carbon laser facial that I get done at salt aesthetics and pepper moa I'm first using the max and louis all matte primer um, I really like this. It's really good. It's like my favorite primer. It just feels really good on the skin and just smooths everything out and prevents me from going oily. So for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation. I'm sorry guys, this isn't available anymore, but I just found it again in my collection and I was like, I really like this. The coverage is really good and it just matches my fake tan right now. I'm, I'm a little bit light, but the color tone matches like perfectly. I'm just going to blend a little bit of this down my neck as well. It's pretty good though at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm just blending that down. Oh, and this is just such a nice foundation. Like the, the consistency is really amazing. Look at this. I am trying out today a lot of products from Winky Lux. They have sent me this whole bunch of makeup over. Look how pretty this box is, by the way. It is stunning. Um, I love Winky Lux. Like, the most favorite product of mine is the PH Lip Stains. It's like a lip stain, but a gloss at the same time, and they are stunning. They have given me a few send outs before, and I actually reached out to them and asked if they could send me the shades of the lip stain and the Coffee Kitten eyeshadow palette because I've seen my favorite youtuber at the moment, Jean Watts, um, using this a lot, and I really wanted to try it. And they just gave me like a whole bloody bu bunch of stuff even though I only asked for these things so I was like oh my gosh they are so kind I don't normally ask brands for things so they have sent me their Peepa Perfect under eye concealer in the shade Fair Clear apparently this is like viral on TikTok so I am opening this up oh it's like a little squeezy bottle like that so apparently you don't need much of this oh yeah it's like a thick consistency Wow, okay, that's a good shade. Wow, okay, this is good. This is good. <laughs> I need good concealer like this for my under eyes because I do have quite dark under eye circles. I'm blending this side in. Oh, I really like this. Like, the consistency is really nice. It's not too matte and it's hydrating, but it's really, like, um... It's really pigmented. Look at that. Just gave me a good under eye brighten. Wow. And I need that. <laughs> it's really hydrating and light reflecting too. So it like almost reflects the light off of my dark circles. <laughs> I had the Cheeky Rose Cream Blush um, in Crown. I've always wanted to try their cream blushes. And they've actually sent me these before. But I actually gave them away in a giveaway. Um, I think I do have maybe one of these shades, but it's in the shade Dodgy, and I it's a bit more of a pink color. 
um, but I will use this one. Okay, how cool is this packaging? Like, look at this, it's like a rose. All my ring lights on there, so it's hard to see. Okay, you'll see it better like this. Look how cool this is. It is a rose. I don't wanna ruin it. Oh, this feels wrong. You're ruining it. Oh, this is good too. I thought it was gonna like break, but like you swirl it around and it still like keeps its shape. These are amazing. Are you kidding me? And I've had this in my drawer ever since. I do remember people like talking a lot about this, these brushes. That is beautiful. I love cream products as well because it just makes you look so much more like glowy and effortless. Are you kidding me? Now, oh my gosh, I'm excited to try the highlighter. So this is Champagne. Their packaging is so gorgeous as well. And I don't know if I should use a sponge because it's like so dirty now. Oh yeah, okay, brush works. Um, I'm just using a, like a little eyeshadow brush. Oh my goodness. Whoa, okay, that is pretty. That is pretty, that's really light colored as well. That's actually quite pigmented. That is so nice because it's like something that doesn't make you look like you're like artificially glowy, if you know what I mean. Um, but it just gives that like natural glow. Okay, so I'm gonna blend in these under eyes and set it. So now I'm gonna set my face with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blurring Powder Foundation. So this will give me extra coverage as well. Um, I'm so lucky to be sent stuff like this. Like I get sent Tarte, which is amazing. Um, okay, so I'm just setting my face down. So for bronzer, I'm using the MAC Give Me Sun Mineralize Skin Finish. Um, I've been getting into using different bronzers. Why is there cat hairs all over me? Oh my gosh, cat hairs everywhere. If you are a ragdoll owner, you will understand <laughs> what it can be like to own ragdolls that have long hair and molt everywhere. Okay, so I am just contouring now. Doing my nose. I really like this bronzer because it's like quite like a orangey tone. Oh, it's like a real like brown tone. And it's quite matte, but it looks good on the skin and it doesn't go like patchy or anything. So I'm going to put some above my nose and above here. I always like that like sunkissed look no matter what I do. I will always forever do that. Anyway, I better talk about something. I always talk about the makeup. Like some of you guys might just want to watch this because you like want updates on my life or something. Um, so yeah, I'll talk, I guess I'll talk a little bit about what has been happening for me. I'm just going to sit like do under my drawer as well. I'll give it a bit of a contour oh that is news i'm gonna get my like i know it's been two years so a lot of it has gone already but i'm gonna get my jaw filler dissolved because my face used to be like way skinnier and i look back to videos and i'm like holy moly like my my jaw my lower half of my face got so much like wider after getting jaw filler and i'm like why did i do that like yeah it looks like great on the side Really sharp and defined, but honestly, I already had like a sharp and defined jaw without jaw filler. It just gave it that extra like sharpness, but from the front, I didn't like it at all. And I looked back and I always knew that it was way wider and like, I like my smaller face, but yeah, I just thought, oh, I'll just wait for it to dissolve, but it's just taking its time. Like, and they do say that like, even if they say it disappears after like two years, it still can linger on and I can like, still feel it like in my jaw like look at this my skin elasticity has been so bad as i get older so i need to take some collagen but yeah i'm gonna get all of this dissolved so my face is gonna be skinnier after like when is my appointment second of april so my face is gonna be a lot skinnier and you guys might be like Eh? Like, what is different? So if I look different, it's because I got my old face back. And I like the more natural look. And I liked my slim face. Like, people die to have a face like that. So I'm like, why did I just puff it up with filler? I don't fucking know. The things we learn and do. Anyway. <laughs> Body FX blush palette. My favourite at the moment. Um, I was a part of the Body FX campaign for the new 
special effects and their new vivid makeup artistry palettes go and check out their website i am on their website i'm like the cover of their website the banner um and yeah these palettes are really good that i'm promoting i know it's a little bit on the pricier side but it's honestly all you need for halloween like if you want a good palette you need that palette not even just for halloween like for creative makeup looks if you're a creative if you're a makeup fanatic the quality of those eyeshadows is phenomenal and it's worth the price because you won't need any other makeup palette um and i love this blush palette from them it's my new fave so i use this in this color i haven't actually used the coral color but i'm more of a light pink girl so oh my gosh this color i just i don't own anything like this in my collection that just builds up so beautifully and just it just looks amazing like when you build it up okay okay so now i'm using the laura mercier translucent setting powder and to get a really bright under eye effect you put this underneath your eyes literally just set it under there just look like a crazy person like focusing um but this is also a good way to like snatch the nose if you want it to look really slim and defined and this is a great way to like lift your eye as well because you can use this like up there so yeah i love this under eye setting powder it's a good multitasker it makes your makeup last it sets it it blues pores so i bring it down here a little bit yeah it blues pores it lifts it brightens it smooths it mattifies it honestly does everything by the way i don't know why but i've been loving the natural the really natural look lately like even right here right now just having my face like this like no lipstick nothing on the eyes like i just find it the most prettiest i don't know why and they always say that like when you get older you tend to wear less like less is more or you realize that you look best with your natural features just enhancing them like mind-blowing <laughs> i just do my gym makeup most of the time now where, wherever i go but don't get me wrong i do like getting glammed up now and then so this is a look that i would do like yeah for a night out and i've actually been wearing a lot more red lip lately like especially over the christmas season and i always get compliments on a good red lip and i really want to do a red lip i know i just used cream um products like cream highlighter and cream blush but i always like layering on top because blush is the first to fade off your face and also it just makes it last so much longer sitting it on top it makes it more intense um so i'm gonna put on this estee lauder bronze goddess highlighting powder and heat wave i got given this from the estee lauder counter manager at life pharmacy at my local mall but honestly it's stunning like look at this color smells so good as well and i've just i have had the best oh look at that i have just had the best highlight like face highlight using this like look at my nose Oh my gosh it just snatches it just brings light to your face so beautifully it doesn't look too powdery it doesn't look too intense um i just i really 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 approve of this highlighter i'm so glad i chose this stunning it's stunning so i'm trying the new benefit precisely my brow wax in the shade 2.5 so i just got gifted these um and i was like benefit they're always amazing with the brow products and i absolutely needed a new brow gel um this one is tinted so this one looks to suit me really well i am going to put this on my brows and i'm a natural brow gal so i don't actually put much on my brows these days i literally will just do a brow gel and i just plucked my eyebrows the other day but i'm going for the more like thinner brow makeup look i don't even need to like put brow product in it because my brow hairs are just so full at the moment um and i think they look really good like natural without anything in it so i'm going to use the new brow pencil they they gave me to the precisely my brow pencil in 2.5 i think this one's actually been around let me just draw on some brown hairs so i just literally do the tails 
and I go over like this area a little bit to thicken that area up and that is literally all I would do. I guess that's a good thing about already having naturally thick brows is you don't actually need to do much. I used to do so much to my brows and it honestly just ruined them like I don't like the quite stark like dark looking brow. So I'm actually going to do lips first because I want to have the lips be the star of the show. I know I want to do a red lip um, and I have been loving like ombre lip at the moment like the red and the dark outline but I'll show you. Um, so I use the shade Lady Danger from MAC so I like using a standard lipstick over liquid lipsticks and I will literally just go over this with the lipstick. This colour is elite, like wow. If you guys have blue eyes, doing a red lipstick will just make your eyes stand out so much. Okay, so you just want to outline the majority of your lips and as you can see, like yes this looks fine like this, but is it a, it's really bright and in your face. So I'm going to show you how to dull this down. Oh, it's 111. I swear I always, I'm into numerology right, and I always get the lucky numbers. Like they always turn up so much for me. By the way, this is my new iPhone 15. I love this case. Hey, look at this phone case. Stunning. I got these like colorful camera lens things. Such a good phone, honestly. It's so much better than my 12 and so much bigger. I got the Pro Max. 111. So manifest to make a wish. Yes, okay. I always make a wish on 111. I swear, just putting it, things out in the universe always work. Wow. Oh, okay. I love this color. I love this. I love wearing red and black. It just makes me feel so good. The lip liner I'm using is the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Vamp. So they sent this to me a while ago and I actually haven't used it. I think I've used it like once. But you want a dark purple shade. And I, I know you guys are probably like, dark purple. But I will show you. Um, so... You want to go around your lip line with this and you watch the transformation. So I can't really talk when I'm doing this. Okay, now you want to start like blending this color like inwards. Um, and especially on the outer corners of your lips, so you just kind of watch what I'm doing. Go there. I just love the way this looks. It made the lips really vampy, really beautiful. I like can't stop staring at my lips, like. This is a good way to make people whew, like just drawn into your lips. Like it looks so, so cool. Um, and yeah, this is a great way to just like amp up your look. I just realized they sent me the uni brow crayon. And I used Benefit one instead. <laughs> Do I just... Mm, do I fix this brow a little bit? I might fix this brow a little bit. Okay, I wanted to use most of these Winky Lux products, um, so I'm actually going to try this out. This is the Uni Brow Brow Crayon. So if you have, oh, that's really thick. Okay, so this has a spoolie on one side, and it has like a really thick crayon on one side. I don't know why it's called Uni Brow, but I'm going to use this just here and see. Like, I might even just darken my brows. Oh, this is a good tool to, like, darken your whole brow with because it's, like, quite a thick crayon. I 
I like how it's quite um, light so you don't just like draw on a whole friggin brow <laughs> like the sharpie brow it's really not uh, like a nice light formula I'm actually gonna like go under my brows before I do the eyeshadow with this concealer the low and key luxe concealer and this flat brush this one is just from Sigma it's the flat Blender E15 brush. I can only really just see that. I like to go underneath and carve out my brows. I used to do this back in the day and I stopped doing it, but it honestly makes such a big difference to your makeup look. Um, but anyway, life has been good. So I've been on holiday mode, I think a little bit too long. Um, and I'm starting to get back into um, everything now, like getting into routine, getting into like just really focusing on brand collaborations and reaching out to brands and um, just my business, my social media management um, and yeah, just trying to save because I've been really bad at that um, because I've been going to so many festivals and stuff, I forget that I need to save as well. Um, so now I'm into like just focusing and getting my shit together <laughs> um and yeah it's been good i've been kind of cutting off distractions um in my week life has been good life has been good we've been currently planning my dad's seven years um and i know he like it's a risk to say that beforehand but i know he most likely won't be watching this makeup tutorial um <laughs> Even though he does like watch my stuff that pops up on Facebook, but yeah. Um, we've been planning my dad's 70th. I can't believe that he is 70 now. My mum's 64, so that she is a bit younger, but I can't believe that. I'm like, where is time going? Like, why are we getting so much older so quick? And you know, I'm turning 30 this year and the thought of it kind of scares me. I'm like, I'm not ready to turn 30. Like, I literally still feel like 24, 25. So, yeah, it's a bit crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna use the Coffee Kitten eyeshadow palette from Winky Lux. I'm so excited to try this. And look at the packaging, it has cats on it. So, as you guys know, I am cat obsessed. I am a big cat lover. So, when I knew this was a cat palette, I was like, yes. Um, by the way, these are animal cruelty free and vegan. So that's good to know. And look how stunning these shades are. Beautiful. So I'm so glad I'm finally trying out this palette because Jean Watts, who I follow on YouTube and Instagram, she always um, uses this palette, like always. And she made me want it. I'm gonna go in with the shade here. This is in the shade Cappuccino. Um, and I'm just going to sweep this back and forth in my crease. Oh, and already obsessed with that color. That is a nice color because it's not too, um, not too orangey. I've been kind of staying clear from orangey shades. Yeah, because I don't know, it just, it just takes away from the lips if you do it too orangey. But this shade is stunning, as you can see here. So I really want the eyes to be quite minimal, but I want to use the most of this palette to like show you guys. I keep staring at my lips, guys. Like, you guys need to do this lip combo. Even if you don't have these exact lip products, like just a bright red lipstick and a purple, dark purple lip liner. And it looks so good. But I'm gonna take the shade Afogado, um, which is this nice one here. And I'm going to lighten this area. And it's already a nice shade because it's not like too white, but it's a nice like, it's a nice natural white shade and not too stark, but it's, it's like enough to like brighten your eyes. As you can see there, it just gave like a nice eye brighten. You probably couldn't even see that. So I'm gonna take the shade Light and Sweet, which is this one here. And I'm just gonna go on with my finger. It's hard because I've got long nails now. 
Ooh, that is pretty. Oh my God, that's prettier than I thought. So I'm just using that on my finger and just putting that on my eye. I do like a little bit of shimmer. Draws you into the eyes as well. Stunning. Put some underneath. But yeah, so anyway, this year we are looking forward to a lot of travel. I have been talking to my sister right now overseas who feels a little bit lost, but we're going to see her in um, in June, July, like late June, July. She lives in Thailand, so we are planning a family trip to Thailand. Um, not just to Thailand, but also like Vietnam, Philippines, um, maybe those surrounding areas. So it's going to be so much fun. Like we really enjoyed the family holiday to Turkey and then me, Monique and Matthew went to Japan. So it's, it's been a lot of fun. Um, and I was like, I miss these family holidays. Like I'm so close with my family and we just have the best time. So, um, yeah, I can't wait. I'm going to take, take the shade Americano, which is this dark brown here. I am really liking these eyeshadows. I'm just going to take the littlest bit like on this outer V, just the tiniest bit to just really define that eye. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to travel. Um, I also, I'm like spending so much lately because not just have we been going to festivals, I was like, I need a new laptop. So whenever I edit videos on my computer, it's such a dinosaur. I actually have the Mac 2014. And for someone that's a full-time, like, content creator, that is insane. Like, it actually gives me grief. Like, it's so slow. It's a dinosaur. It's so full all the time. I delete so much stuff. Like, I probably need to delete more stuff because I just have so much um, shit. <laughs> but, yeah, it's so full. It's so slow. And I don't, being honest, I don't actually own a laptop. And people probably think that's crazy. Like, yeah, I have a computer, but I don't have a laptop. So it's like, well, how can I do my work that I need to overseas? I mean, I know I do most things from my phone, but like having a laptop is just so good because you can do your work, like editing videos and, you know, if you need Microsoft Word and like emails, like you feel a bit more like professional and you can sit up on your dining table or anywhere in the house. Um, and unlike my computer, it's just here, like in my beauty room. So I can't go anywhere else. I can't bring it with me overseas, obviously, like when I travel. If you guys have any good recommendations, I'm thinking of getting like the MacBook Pro. Like obviously I got to stick with my Mac um, stuff. I don't really like anything else. I have had a laptop in the past that's not been Mac, but yeah, I'm just used to the whole Mac um, situation now. And that's more money gone. I just spent like 3,200 on the phone. Oh no, I got money off because I traded in my iPhone 12. So this ended up being like 2,200. Still a lot of money. And now I need a laptop. And the one that I'd get that's like minimum value um, is like 3,300. There's ones that are like less, like 3,000. But I need like the bigger processing ones because it will be for like video editing and stuff. By the way, this top I'm wearing here is from Zarful. It's just like a crop top, like long, yeah, crop top. And you can put the zip down. It's, it's really good. This one was really affordable and I needed like just a plain crop top with long sleeves. And no, I don't want gloss. I sadly, I'm not showing you guys the pH lip stains, but I do really like them. Okay. You guys need, so I'm going to just show you, they do have three shades and it's so good if you're wearing like no makeup and you have like no color in your lips it's like me um they actually come in three shades so you've got prickly pear which is actually my favorite one that's the one that i used well i can't say it's my favorite because i haven't tried the other two but one is grapefruit the orangey one in the middle and then we have raspberry which i think i will like a lot as well oh that was a fail <laughs> But anyway, there they were. Anyway, anything else that's happening in my life? Matthew has been at home for seven months straight, if you guys didn't know. He's been on ACC. So he's been on ACC with a bad back and he just needs to get 
a cortisone injection we found out um, he does have damaged lower discs so he does have a lot of pain throughout his day he finds it hard to sit and bend in certain angles and he finds it hard to sit for too long and he lies down most of his day which is actually crazy so yeah it's been a little bit hard like seeing him in pain all the time but he finally had progress and got an MRI so we live in New Zealand and the healthcare system here is a bit backwards like we need we're so understaffed and under resourced when it comes to things such as like healthcare and seeing doctors and seeing specialists and all that stuff so it took so long for them to be like okay we're gonna send you to a specialist and instantly the specialist was like you need an MRI scan and he finally got one like two weeks ago and yeah we got the MRI results back and he's got damaged discs and they can heal on their own it just will take a lot of time and it's something that he can do is get a cortisone injection so like an epidural kind of like when girls give birth anyway <laughs> so he gets an injection and then they um it will hopefully work within two weeks and that will help the nerves and the muscles like ease off the discs and strengthen the back it's almost like giving steroids to the muscles to strengthen them and um, that's where the pain comes from is all the muscles and surrounding nerves and stuff because the discs don't actually have any feeling um, it's just everything surrounding it that's trying to protect the back so the specialist said he should be good after getting this and maybe in like six weeks or something when he's confident to go back you know he can start doing heavy lifting and stuff because his job's underground mining so that's why he couldn't go back like if he had a standard office job or whatever he could have been back already but the nature of what he does he can't go back to work and there's no such thing as light duties at his work so he's just had to stay at home so yeah that is the news with that so it's kind of better news at least he's not completely fucked and he needs surgery um so at least he like the specialist seems to think the injection will do well and um uh, they should heal on their own over time so let's fingers crossed hope that it works for him and his back heals but i like went and bought him all these pills like multivitamin and vitamin e and um like stuff that helps with like joints and muscles and back and everything um for him so hopefully it means anyway i'm using the extra lash mascara from winky winky lux in bold black i needed a new mascara anyway because my trusty benefit roller lash was getting dry oh no that's not good okay i just opened the mascara and the bottle just looks like it's like reacted with something i don't know but it's meant to be like smooth and shiny but down here it's all like looks like a sticker has been like stuck to it from like here onwards and it like is all weird and smudgy but it looks like the actual packaging has reacted to something because it's not like sticker so like a ball at the tip and it goes long so we're gonna see i like this wand actually so we're gonna focus a lot of the product on the outer corner to give like that cat eye effect we went on a fishing competition like three weeks ago that was so much fun it makes me want to do more now i won bit second for best snapper and then one of my friends won um third for best kingfish and my other friend won first release uh first marlin released and tagged um so yeah we actually got snapper kingfish and marlin which is crazy and some other like little bits and bobs came up but it was so much fun like it was my first time out on a fishing boat out at sea we went to mia island which is like a popular place for getting all the big fish here in the north island of new zealand um and yeah it was just it was so much fun like such good energy i love hanging out with girls that make you feel good and just honestly it was such a fun time and then yeah that next so we were out at sea for two days and then we did the prize giving and actually won some awards and i got like this really cool like tackle box with all the light lines and hooks and like a bottle of wine um a, like cooler cups that like keeps your drinks cold or warm um and i got like two knives for fishing um and i also got like this it was like a it's like a certificate but it's like glass like a frame that you can hang up and it said second snapper so it was called fish and chicks and it was part of the uh, Tauranga fishing of oh, Tauranga boating club 
So now I've joined that group and I'm actually so looking forward to going out again because honestly that was so much fun. Like obviously not the biggest snapper in the world um, but because it was like an all girls competition it was the biggest one that the people that entered had caught in those two days but it was still like 13 pounds which is still a decent size snapper and we've got so much fish. And tonight we're making fish burgers so I'm really looking forward to that. I love filming though, like I honestly love filming and just chatting away to you guys. I do miss doing this um, and I don't want to put pressure on myself with YouTube. Like I always find that I'm like, oh, what to film this week? What do I upload? And it feels more of a chore and I want it to be like how it used to feel like this. Like just doing things that I want to film and one person that I really look up to who does that a lot and doesn't just do trends just because they're popular to get views. Um, and just like does what they want to do, film what they want to film and just feels good doing it is Shine XO and she's inspired me so much. I've been watching her for so long. She is someone that inspired me so much and inspired me to start my channel and I just love her work ethic. Anyway, I'm going to go back in with the coffee kitten palette again. I don't want to do a wing. I actually quite like the eyes without a wing, but I want to like darken on the inside of my eyes um, just because I feel like they're a bit plain. So I'm going to take the shade Espresso from the palette and take that and I'm going to go in here. And I know people are probably like, why are you using eyeshadow? This just darkens up the lash line a little bit as well. I've had some exciting opportunities come up. Oh, I'm going to tell you about one. I'm like, nah. I'm going to go for what I want this year, like things that have been on my mind or things that I've wanted to do and I've had a few opportunities pop up, not only ooh, not only brand collaborations but other career paths. So I won't talk about that yet until it actually like happens, um, but it is looking really positive. I just stabbed myself in the eye. Like I just want to do, like while I'm young, I want to do everything that I want to do you know that I'm in my 20s I'm still in my 20s okay guys I'm holding on to my last year um I want to do everything that I've wanted to do and just put myself out there and like get out of my comfort zone so yeah that is what this year is going to be about for me and the first things is traveling as much as I can like at the, at the beginning it was like, oh my gosh, we want another house, we want a bigger family home, like we don't even have a family yet, like I probably won't have kids for another two years, <laughs> could be longer, um, but I, yeah, we used to want another home and I'm like, oh my gosh, house prices are just insane, oh the house prices are going down but the interest is like high as a kite, um, but I was like, I don't want to do that anymore, like I really like our house and where we are. And I just want to spend it on traveling and making memories with the family. And it's a privilege to be able to travel as well. And I know like there's so much crazy shit going on in the world. So it does scare people a lot to like travel and get out there. But sometimes you just can't live, live in fear like that, you know? Um, I'm taking the Revlon Color Stay Brow Ink and I'm just putting a beauty spot here. I don't know. And it hides that pimple that I had there as well. If you guys want to feel sexy or glam, this is the look for you. I'm just going on with my bronzer again. Oh my god, I love the look of this. I love the look of this. Um, so yeah, life has been really good right now. I've been surrounding myself with really amazing people and also talking to a lot more people in the industry. Um, and talking to my manager about, um, you know, who I want to work with this year and like um, things and like career related things and I'm just feeling so motivated and inspired and that's why it's so important to hang around people that like motivate and inspire you and push you to do better and celebrate your wins and stuff like it's, it's just making such a big difference and they always say you are what your environment is so yeah, if you were surrounding yourself with great, amazing people that are like-minded and kind of are like career-focused and stuff, you'll honestly be successful. <laughs> 
but I'm seeing great results in just working harder, even vouching for myself, manifesting things, um, you know, working hard to get what you want. Like I believe it's such a massive such a massive thing and yeah the lashes so i'm gonna put a little individual on we're taking the ardell 422 lashes i've literally just cut them up um and i'm taking my duo eyelash adhesive it's the brush on one just stick one on the outer corner oh yeah okay that that is nice as you can see there it just like lifts it slightly like one or two individuals on the outer corner is so much easier as well like if you're not good at applying lashes like i actually find it easier i honestly feel so pretty i'm so glad i added those lashes like i knew i wouldn't regret doing that it's so hot in here anyway so i hope you guys like this makeup look if you did then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i upload every monday at 8 a.m new zealand time and youtube shorts every day um let me know what you guys want to see next on my channel i honestly find it so helpful when you guys give recommendations i hope you guys have a great week thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next week's video bye <laughs> Honestly, it looks so good. Like, I keep staring at my eyes. I'm like, wow, they look so good. And the lips, so nice and big, full and juicy. The brows, like, I put a lot of effort into my brows recently, and I've been really liking the, like, thinner, more, like, shaped, put-together brow. Like, I remember I used to do brow lamination, and they were just so spiky and too dark and horrible. Like, I really like the color they are now and they just look really good so yeah i'm happy with everything i loved all the products that i used in today's video as well everything is so so beautiful and i highly recommend all of these products so if you are looking for some new makeup so if you want to get this stunning makeup look then just keep on watching so if you want to know how to do this stunning makeup look then just keep on watching